Hi everybody, this is Serb Cher, back another night with another unboxing. I have already unboxed this because I didn't even know what I was expecting in this package. So I wanted to see what it was, uh, plus that I did a video that was never recorded, so yeah, here, here we are. So, um, to shorten up the story I just told, the summer is here. COVID-19 has cancelled every car meet, every event. There is no nothing to do. I definitely spend more time washing my cars than I do driving them. And I'm probably fatter than ever. So, uh, yeah. I thought I was going to give my old BMX some love maybe get a little bit better in shape on the way so uh, i found out that i i knew before that sonax in germany had a bunch of uh, bike care products and now we got them in sweden so i thought that was perfect i just told them give me all and i will see what i can do about my bike so a little bit about my bike it should be in mint condition i bought it Roughly 15 years ago, years ago, I rode on it twice, maybe three times. And um, after that, it has just been standing out on my balcony in the sun. So the bike is dusty, dry. Everything is dried out on it. The tires are dried out. So there's no air in the tires. And uh, the chain has never felt any kind of oil since it was new. So I haven't taken care of that bike at all. So now it's really time to show that bike some love. Because it, it's a nice bike. It's a Haro Trick BMX. It was the absolute best 15 years ago. So what we got here from Sonax is, we start off with this one, a bike cleaner. Uh, I thought that I was going to use, if I, hadn't, if I didn't have these products, I would use like a degreaser but i understand now that i can't use that on a bike because it will come on the chain and, and the brakes and that's not good so a bike cleaner uh, i think this is about ah i can use this on my chain as well and it works on carbon fiber plastic alum aluminum all right, I think I can use this on much more than use my bike. So we start off with this one, cleaning the bike, and then chain spray. Maybe I should do that before I clean the bike. I don't know, I'm gonna get to that. And we have uh, care oil for your brakes and gears, etc. Hmm, I'm not sure what about what order I should use the, those in. But then, finally, we have the spray wax to keep the bike clean, easier. And then I'm probably gonna use tire shine on the tires, uh, maybe something for the rubber handles, and leather uh, care, leather protection for the seat. Uh, but if you have a bike that you use, this is all you need. Uh, clean it, uh, lubricate it, and uh, protect it with wax. So follow me while I clean my BMX, if you want to. This is my BMX that I bought brand new, I don't know, at least 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago. And I've used it once, and then it has been standing out on my balcony in the sun. So I'm gonna fix it up, clean it up, and maybe get new tires, I don't know. There shouldn't be any holes in them, but there are absolutely no air, and uh, I don't even know how to fill them. So uh, clean it up, get some oil on the chain, and.
see how it works. Uh, I wanted to do this video outside, but it was too windy, so I, I'll do it in the garage. Not as beautiful, but hey, here we go. Uh, I was unsure of which one I should start, start with, with the bike chain spray or with the cleaner. But of course, I'm going to go with the cleaner. And it says uh, on the bottle that uh, I shouldn't let it dry in. So maybe it's a good idea that I, not, that I don't do it out in the sun. And... Um, yeah, it says spray, let it work for 5 to 10 minutes, don't let it dry, uh, flush it off or wash it off with water, don't, do, don't use a high pressure water, uh, and after the cleaning you're going to moisturize uh, or oil the chain. So that's great, this is the one that you start with. Uh, and don't use it on hot materials, so don't do it out in the sun. If it's really hot outside. So yeah, I'm going to start off with this one. Uh, I was thinking of washing the car off, uh, sorry, the bike off first with water. But I'm not going to do that because I want to see how effective this product is. So the bike is dry, has been dry for 15 years. Uh, and it's dust that has burnt in by the sun. So, um, it's going to have a tough job cleaning it. I'm going to use this like everywhere on the bike. Uh, I don't care if it's rubber or leather or plastic. Uh, I'm going to spray it all over the bike. And I'm going to do it uh, two times. It says on a bottle that if it's not clean enough, just do it again. So. I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes, maybe not full 10 minutes because I'm really eager. And then uh, I'm going to do it one more time right, right away, just for fun. It smells good, the product. I would maybe like it to uh, spray a bit wider than, than, than the stream, um, because the stream makes it a bit harder. So. A wider spray would be nice. Uh, once again, a wider spray would be nice because it feels like I'm wasting half the bottle. Uh, I can do it closer, but then it, I get it all over me and do it from a bit afar. Yeah, but still, a wider spray would be nice so I don't waste. I've already used almost half the bottle. I have really drenched the bike, so I'm not going to do, do this twice because I was thinking of doing my family's bikes as well. Uh, I have almost used half the bottle. I like to overdo it. But I have sprayed every centimeter of the bike uh, except from the tires, but I'm going to take the tires as well actually. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm only going to do it once. Uh, so you will see the, the difference. I, I think I forgot to take a close-up of the bike when it was dirty, but trust me, it was dirty. Not dirty, but old dust that I have dried in, so it was this matte look all over it. Um, so I'm going to spray the wheels and then I'm going to let it sit for roughly 10 minutes and um, only going to do it once. I think right away the bike uh, looks a lot more shinier and cleaner right away actually. Uh, so almost works like a degreaser, uh, but uh, I like the product and it smells really good. So I'm, I'm sure now that I don't need to do this twice. Maybe if you have a really dirty bike, mountain bike, dirt bike, but with this one, once is enough. I just feel that I wasted maybe a bit too much of the, of the spray. I can't sit for or stand for 10 minutes just waiting. It has passed 5 minutes now. So I got my sponge uh, with a little bit of water. I'm thinking I'm going to just yeah, rub it in a bit. It, I don't think you need to do that, but just for fun. I'm not washing my car without touching it, so yeah. I 
I think it was a good idea to use the sponge and some water because I can really hear the phone working. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, I don't want to take off my mic because I'm wet, but uh, I hope you can hear it anyway. Maybe like this, yeah. So, see the bike. Um, I think it's better to to uh, let the phone work a bit and not only spray it on, but take a sponge, uh, rub it in with some uh, with some water, and uh, you can really hear the phone working. So, um, I think that's better. It doesn't say anything about it on the bottle, but uh, for me, I think. I think it's, it's double the effect because I can, as I said, I can really hear the phone working. So do that. Just don't use a high pressure wash. So I think if you don't have a garden hose with water, use a clean sponge and water in a bucket will do, I think. But it says uh, rinse richly with water. So a garden hose with water would be best. And I'm not going to put this, this is not a high pressure bar. But I'm gonna take it kind of slow like this. And uh, don't forget any places, as it says on the bottle, don't let it dry in. So, uh, and it says also richly wash it off with water. So uh, make sure that you don't forget it any place on the bike. So you don't. So you don't get out in the sun and um, and it gets dried in. I was thinking while I was spraying it, I was thinking of turning the bike upside down as well. But I, I really, as I said, I use house to butter. I have really sprayed it everywhere. But when you're washing it off, of course I'm gonna turn it inside out and upside down and from right to left. And so I really wash off the product. Uh, I've noticed directly that uh, it really cleans because as you can see my chain is totally gray there there is no oil on it at all and I almost I didn't spray the the rim I only sprayed the tire but you can see the rim as well it's not black anymore so yeah the chain really needs to be oiled in now greased in I don't know what the English word for it is but yeah, the bike looks super cool once again. I see that I had some scratches that I haven't noticed before. But it's just paint so I can rub it off. Yeah. But yeah, it works. Uh, the bike is clean. The oil from the chain is completely gone. So that's why we have this product. Bike chain spray. So I'm going to read to see if it says anything about being dry. But I don't think so. Shake it before use, spray it on the surface, let it sit for a while, wash it off or dry it off with a, with a cloth. I don't have that with me, maybe I should get, get one uh, to get dirt. Because when you spray this on a chain, you're going to spray away some dirt as well. Um, don't let it come on tires and brakes. Uh, a tip is to put a cloth behind it, uh, between the chain and the tire. Uh, as I said, I don't have a cloth with me, but the reason why you shouldn't get this on your brakes and tires is, of course, that you won't get that kind of friction. It was only... Your brakes won't work uh, when you get this on the brakes and tires. But since this is a Trick BMX, uh, I don't care, actually. So I'm going to spray it and try to focus just on the chain. Uh, I think there is, yeah. So you have the, the wide spray and you have the smaller spray. And I'm really going to drench it just for fun. And you could do this better because the bike is just clean and you maybe don't want to get this on the bike, but uh, I don't care. I think the easiest for you is to uh, turn the bike upside down and 
go like this instead. I think that should be enough. Yeah, it's really drenched now. Since I don't have a cloth to uh, wipe off the the rest of the bike because I really drenched the the, the chain, so I'm gonna carefully wash off the bike with water. Uh, and try not to get too much water on the chain, but I have really drenched the chain, so it shouldn't be any problem. Uh, yeah. Okay. It says on a can that you should always wipe it off with a uh, cloth, uh, because the grease that is on the bike is gonna uh, attract dirt, so dirt is gonna get stuck in that grease. So I have dried my sponge, and I'm gonna wipe it off with this, uh, but I'm gonna, going to, uh, to flush it with water. Uh, while I let a chain grease sit, I'm going to use the oil because it says uh, use drip and let it sit and drip again. But uh, I don't have any gear, so I'm just going to use this on my, on my brakes. But this is uh, grease. Maybe on the on the inside of the wheel as well. And then when I let the oil and grease sit for a couple of minutes, just for fun, I'm gonna use a tire gloss. Uh, I don't think that's good for you, actually. That can also make the brakes stop working and uh, maybe slid around with the tire. So don't use this, I think, but I'm gonna do it because my tires are very dried out and old. Uh, and I use one, I use to have this bike for show. It's just something cool to have, so yeah. I like the look of tire shine, uh, but I never use it because it gets too sticky and it's kind of hard to put on, but it has never been as easy as this. So this was used fun. I'm never ever going to use this bike in the rain, I think, and uh, not in the dirt. But since I have the wax, the spray wax, why not use it? I'm unsure if you can use it while the bike is wet, but it's mostly dry, so I'm going to use it anyway, and only on the uh, clear coated uh, material. So where it's matte black, I'm not going to use it, only when it's painted with, uh, with clear coat. The bike is as clean as possible. The wax was really easy to wipe off, no problem at all. The bike is shiny where it is supposed to be shiny and matte where it's supposed to be matte. Looks great. Easy and fun and it smells good. And uh, it's very nice to have a clean bike again. So uh, if you have any questions about the product, just ask me as usual. I'll do my best to answer you. Thanks for watching.